Hi, it's Leroy Scott at LeroyScott.com. Thank you again so much for tuning in. Thank you for all your emails and all your questions. I hope that you're um, getting the answer that you need. I hope that you're thriving in your relationships and I hope that you're thriving in every aspect of your life. Now, um, I've been working a lot in the context of marriage and relationships and one of the things that, no, that happens a lot in relationships is people just slip up and have an affair. They don't know how they got there, how it happened, they, and many a time they'll tell me they really didn't mean to do that. And you know, sometimes people have affairs and they really love each other. It's amazing. But when that affair happens, it causes so much pain in that relationship. So this is what I want to do. I want to talk to you today about how to protect yourself from an affair. Now, I have worked as a licensed professional counselor in private practice for over 17 years. I've got a ton of credentials and several degrees. But this is the deal. What I've learned about saving yourself or protecting yourself or building what I call a hedge or a fence around your relationship, the number one thing you've got to do is you've got to place God at the head of your marriage. Now, some people would call that um, a cliche. But when I say place God at the head of your marriage, I literally mean placing God at the head of your marriage and placing love at the heart of your marriage. Number two, you have to have a reason to be faithful. You know, your relationship with God, and I've worked with Christian men and, and both Christian women who have both fallen into situations where they've had an affair and they really didn't want to go there. They really had no plan or no intention to go there. Just, just because of some of the things that were going on in their relationship, they just kind of slipped and fell into that. This is what you need. Regardless of how much you love God, you need a tangible reason to be faithful especially as a husband. Do you know the Bible says who can find a virtuous woman? But the Bible also asks this profound question, who can find a faithful man? Guys, listen, if you want to be strong, if you want to be faithful, if you want to die with integrity that you've never cheated on your wife, that you remain faithful throughout the course of your entire relationship, then you have to have a real reason to be faithful. For many men, it's because my dad did this or my uncles were this or my parents were divorced or it's, the, it's what the world expects or what society expects of me. And for some men, it's just a simple fact that I want to die with integrity. I want the world to be able to say, yeah, he's made mistakes in his life. He's done some things wrong, but he's never cheated on his wife. You've got to have a reason that you can literally put your hands on that gives you reason to be faithful. And number three, you've got to realize that you, if you cheat, it's a choice that you make at the end of the day. And you've got to take responsibility for cheating. So how do you protect yourself? You put God first, you find a tangible reason to be faithful. And then when you cheat, you take responsibility for it. Thank you for tuning in to Leroy Scott TV, and we'll see you next time. Remember, visit my website, www.leroyscott.com. It's your relationship coach at Leroy Scott TV.